Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we've got some nice posts coming in. I've got a letter from the Netherlands with, yes, I've already opened it, had a little sneak peek. Uh, but I'm going to show you, it's a super cool card that actually recently got a reprint. And I'm actually happy with that because when they reprint cards, the value tends to go down a little bit. Um, and you know, the old card still rules, you know, the new card, new art, the new frame, all that stuff. I don't really like it. Um, and we also have this, a letter from Italy, full of Renaissance cards. So I'm really looking forward to it. Actually not Renaissance, it's called, um, you've got the Italian version, uh, Rinascimento. That's the proper word for it. So looking forward to, to open that. But first let's start with this one. Like I said, I already kind of had a little sneak peek. So the envelope's open. This is a card sent to me by Louis. And um, yeah, I mean, thank you so much, Louis, for selling this, for wanting to part with a super cool card. So you can already see the brother standing here in the back. So I've got two of these now, two headed giant of fouries, one red and four to cast. And for that, you actually get really um, a good bang for your buck because you pay five mana and you actually get a four, four creature with two upsides. So no downsides on this creature card. It has trample. And then there's a second ability, which is quite flavorful. May block two attacking creatures, divide damage between them however controller likes. So it makes sense that it blocks two creatures because it has two heads, so it's super flavorful. And I love it when what the card does and what you see on the picture actually makes sense. I feel you have that far more in like the old school cards than you have that with the uh, the newer cards. So really happy, I've got two now. I'm, I'm, I haven't really found a home for these, for these cards yet. I'm, I'm still kind of looking, I was thinking maybe some mid-range um, green and, and red build with, you know, maybe also war mammoths kind of continuing on that uh, trample theme. So that, that could be an option. Let me know if you actually play with these cards, if you find a home for them, because they seem really splashable with only one red in the casting cost. So yeah, it's, it's kind of in my mind. I, I feel like the creature is too good to see so little play. Anyway, uh, let's continue with the post from Italy. So um, the Italian post actually contains cards from a set called Renascimento, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it completely, but it's an Italian set and it's kind of like Chronicles, but it's different. It only contains, I believe, like about 60 cards. Uh, it only has cards from Arabian Nights and Antiquities because they already had a Legends and a, uh, the Dark Italian version. So they weren't going to reprint that. So it's got very little cards. It's a small set. And I, I just noticed that I almost have it complete so i thought why not try to kind of make it complete so i've ordered a bunch of cards from that set so let's open it up go ahead it's i mean you probably recognize this right you always need to have a project with magic so whenever i have a set complete i'm just going to continue with another set I, I just like it so much. And also with these cards, they're still kind of affordable and preferably I would like try to trade for it. But I mean, there are just not a lot of people that are close to me that I see at tournaments that actually collect these as well. So there we go. Okay, we get some uh, interesting sleeve here. All the computer art these days. See if we can open this up a little. I don't want to damage the cards though. There we go. Boom, that's off. And then we're gonna do this side. So I actually have an empty like booster wrapper of Renaissance, which is not the same as uh, Rani Shimento. This is different. This is like the German and the French version and had more cards and also cards from Legends and, and um, the Dark in it. So it's really a different set. Some people kind of mix those up and think it's the same. So did I at the start, by the way, but it's uh, it's different. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, sellotape, people. It's just, it's a drag. But it's good, though. I mean, it protects, protects the cards. It's good. Okay, here we go. I think, okay, these are the cards. I assume these are, like, just cards for protection. Exactly. This is, I don't know. What is that stuff, people? 
what else do we have? A okay, they're Italian and they're I don't know. Okay, so these are the cards that matter. And uh, you know what? We're just gonna flip them one at a time. Okay, so here we've got a clay statue. Let's put it over there. Then we've got let me just get this cello tape off my thumb. So we have our clay statue. So it's a three one and for two, you can regenerate it. It's from the antiquities expansion. And, and then we have, of course, a giant tortoise. So that's a one one, but as long as it's untapped, it's actually a one four, a card from the Arabian Nights. And here we go, we've got a Dandan. Dan. So Dandan Dan is a four one creature and it can only attack if the opponent has islands. And here you can actually see this is the Dandan. Dan this fish. It's not the boats, it's the fish. And it's a 4-1 and you see this card being played in uh, in fish decks actually quite a lot because in old school so many people play blue because of the power splash so usually with a Dandan Dan, you can just attack. And oh then we've got Shapeshifter. So Shapeshifter is six. It's such a unique creature and you have seven total um, points that you can divide for toughness and power. So for example you can make it a 3-4, you can make it a 6-1. And every time during your upkeep, you can change this number. So you can make it an 07. Obviously, you cannot make it a 7 0 because then it dies. I th don't think you can make the toughness smaller than zero. I think you have to keep it one at least. So a 6 1 is, you know, the, the power wise, the biggest you can make it. But you can also make it into a wall of ice. You can just make it an 07. I mean, it is a wall of ice for six, but still. Anyway, that's a shapeshifter from Antiquities. And then we have, oh yeah, Coral Helm. Um, what does it do again? I think you got to pay three sacrifice, discard a card, something like that. And then you give plus two, plus two to target creature. I think so. You know what? I'll show you the original Coral Helm here and, uh, and then we'll, we'll find out. And then we have Simbad, of course. I know what Simbad does. So one blue and one, uh, it's a one one. You can tap it and you can draw a card. If that card is a land card, you get to keep it. If not, you can discard it. This card goes together really well with cards like Sylvan Library, but also with Library of Lang. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put it over there. And here we've got, oh, this is the, um, is it called Onyx? Obelisk, Obelisk. Yeah, Obelisk of something, something. And you can pay six and tap and you can return target permanent to its owner's hand. So it's really cheap to cast, it's just one, but to use it's quite expensive. So six and tap. Obelisk of Undoing, that's the name of it. Obelisk of Undoing. Turn it around. Yep, Circle of Protection Artifacts, one white and one. You can pay two and it can prevent damage done to you by any artifact source. And we're almost there. Oh, these cards, yeah. So these cards I actually ordered for my uh, foreign white black bordered uh, deck. So it's basically a white weenie deck, but I wanna experiment with Sarah Angel as well. So Angelo di Sera. So our four four, you can attack it. Flyer, right? And you can attack it, doesn't have to tap. And I believe this is one as well, yeah. Now I remember I ordered two of these beauties. Really, really nice. Uh, very happy with this mill day. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, because I'm now collecting this set, believe it or not, I'm going to uh, add some pictures uh, to the video where you can actually see my collection. And you can see how far I am. Yeah, because maybe that's that's maybe nice for you to see, maybe not. Um, so if you want to see that, stick around and, uh, and you can have a look and see how far my collection uh, is at the moment of uh, Rinascimento. So that's an Italian uh, version of Renaissance. So this is the binder where I keep the stuff in. It actually turns out that I don't have a lot of these cards. I thought I have more, but so this is the German. So this is the Renaissance and the German version, right? You see like Kampfliegen. As you can see, there are a lot of empty spaces still. So yeah, I don't have a lot. And then I have the French version. Just gonna skip a few pages. Just to give you an idea, um, I've got here the French version. So I got a little bit more French cards. I mean, it, starting to look like something of a collection right uh, then we again see the ghost ship yeah it's, it's a 
it's nice so the french one i've got a little bit more the french renaissance i mean look at all those blue cards and i just really like it i like the printing i like the color i like the fact it's got uh, a black border i kind of like it what i don't like is the the tap symbol i mean i'm not a, i'm not a fan of that and also the you know the wizard's line here that you see starting at fourth edition but you know what i really like again is that it's the black border the the colors i mean look at the colors such a beautiful card really nice so um then we go to the italian part the ranishimento that i talked about let's have a look so we're going to skip this now we're here so this is much smaller right this set but look at that i'm missing so many cards still look at that boom i do like this one the june and the Frit. very cool card but look at this empty 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 so i thought i could show you an almost complete set but I'm sorry, guys, uh, I was <laughs> way too optimistic, which I kind of like because it means I still have time to do, uh, to do some uh, collecting. What's kind of kind of nicer as well is I've got my homelands in here. This is this is kind of my uh, my reprint uh, folder. Let me just close it for you, and because I, I keep it in here, you'll like the binder. Oh, we got some stuff sticking on it, but. This is my folder for my reprints. I really, really like it. And uh, it starts with the uh, with the set of, of fourth edition, which is complete by the way, but I, I just needed this one planes for something. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.